they were double teaming or having their bid come up quick so that we could, couldn't get in the paint. And we work on that every day with about 100 passes where certain guys on the team, if they get hot like Kemba, they're going to double team them. And uh, we got to make sure that we get them all the outlets that he needs. And um, the big guys like Taj, um, uh, Jericho did a great job tonight with getting the ball inside and um, kind of get, giving them the, the freedom to make plays and make the game simple especially if they put two people on the ball. It's early, obviously, but what is the biggest difference or differences that you're seeing between the offense last year and what you guys are doing through these first couple of games here? Uh, I mean, it's just a different team, you know. Um, no knock on the guys that, that played on the team last year, but when you bring in Kemba, Evan, and, I mean, shooting, like when you bring in shooting like that, it's, it, it, the game should be easier. But like I said, when you're forcing a double team, um, there's no point. I mean, early on in the game, we were turning the ball over. I had like three turnovers from like just over dribbling and trying to force things. And um, in the second half, we made sure that um, we got off the ball quick, made simple plays, and um, it led to um, us getting set shots. And I think some of the, some of the threes that we did, is they still were like good looks. Looks like you tweaked an ankle or something in there. Yeah. Is everything okay with yeah, that? Not, yeah, nothing serious uh, at all. But um, I knew if I would have kept playing, I probably would have made it worse. But it's nothing serious at all. Yeah. Was it a bump or what, what happened? I think I probably did myself. <laughs> uh, the second game, I don't play pickup in the summer. So, like, uh, yeah, all this is just um, new. You know what I mean? Just moving around. Um, you know, tips, training camps are a little bit different. You rarely play five like that. It's really like drills and learning the principles of what you want with the defense and offense. And um, just trying to like take my time, let my body just like, you know, being older, just come naturally, let the game come naturally to me. And um, when I did fall, I felt it. It was just a tweak. I didn't twist it all the way. And I just slid to the side. Like tips, he understood. Everybody understood. Did those numbers of three-point attempts Hit him both games. I think 45 today. Yeah. Um, is that it's just preseason, but is that a good indication that you think you guys can do that on a regular basis? Uh, I don't want to give like the set number that Tibbs told us to get, but um, that's pretty good. It's above the set number that he told us, and um, they were all good looks. You know, uh, where um, Kemba is walking into threes, he's great off the dribble. Um, Evan, same. RJ, same. I'm more of a catch and shoot, uh, but I felt like everybody was just making the game easy, easier for like the next person. And like I said, when you got like an offensive like team like we have, it's, it it should make the game it should make the game easier. Our biggest thing is defense, making sure our defense intensity matches our offense. We are no Julius tonight, and you're still grounding them and scored a bunch of points. I mean, was it good to see Knox hit some threes? And, you know, oh, you're great. Great, they're building confidence, you know. Um, Kev, um, he's been here for a while, so Tibbs is giving him the opportunity to go out there and play. And um, we, of course, you miss a, a guy like Julius, but in this league, you never know what's going to happen. And Tibbs always has the same of um, saying next guy up. And Kev and Ob, they've been doing a great job with um, making sure they watch Ju every day, seeing his work ethic, they coming in getting they, um, their vitamins every day, their work, and they, you just see it's paying off. But they get, they, they're able to see a guy at that position and really like work their butt off, so it's great. Eric, you guys had a few possessions, especially in the third quarter, where you just kick out and the guy had what could have been a good shot and then swung around the perimeter four more times for a um, great open look. What, what is allowing you guys to be able to give up those good shots for, for great shots? Great shot. Uh, I mean, I, I can only speak for like my group, uh, the, the group that I'm out there with. We played in like meaningful games already, you know, with um, me, AB, and Quick as far as the guard. And um, when you play playoff games, it's like all this, don't get me wrong, these are, it's great that we're winning, but it's still preseason. So everybody's still adjusting, everybody's trying to figure out rotations on the other team. And uh, like I said, we're trying to make the game easier for everyone. So. Um, 
it, it should be easy at home basketball, but it, it's great to get a win. I, I saw you on the court uh, giving a lesson to Jericho. Um, what was that conversation about? And um, you know, what, what's it been like playing with him? And what do you think? Man, he's a great big man. Um, he has a lot of potential. You know, um, he's an introvert, and that's why I could I could tell, and that's why I, like I could relate to him in a way where. <coughs> He's way bigger than me, but it's kind of weird that we have that relationship, but I can see it. So um, I was telling him while we were out there that no matter what, if I got the ball, um, if I jump in the air, I always pay attention to uh, pay attention to me until I get rid of the ball, because sometimes I may jump in the air just to throw a, like, a fake pass to give it to him for like a layup. So I'm just telling him what everything I told Joe Kane or any other like big like him that I played with, to always keep their eyes on me so that they could get an easy basket. He's, uh, Jericho is very quiet with us, too, a few times we talked to him. Is he a quiet guy in the locker room? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he talks. Don't get me wrong. He talks, but um, I don't know. Uh, that's something that I, I, I just could see in him, you know, and my job with being a vet is to try to, like, get him to break out of that shell because as a big, you got to be able to talk and communicate. And... Um, Tib is not going to allow him to like <laughs> be quiet on the court, so it's my job to to help big guy with with that.